Hello and welcome back to the channel. I hope you all are doing well. So we are going to discuss one of the most popular databases in the big data world right now, which are the columnar based database. So in this video, let's talk about what are they, why they really matter as well as why they are really popular and their differences as compared to the relational databases. So without further any ado, let's get into it. So the first thing you may ask, what really are the columnar databases? So we know that in the SQL databases, which are the relational databases, the data is stored row by row. But in columnar databases, it is not that different. The only difference is it stores the data column by column instead of rows by rows. But it gives us like immense benefits. Let's talk about those now. So if you talk about the columnar databases, they are really space efficient. So due to its columnar storage approach, the compression of the data is way more efficient as compared to the relational databases, which makes it a good choice if we are looking to handle big data at scale. The next advantage is, is like the query performance. So if you are looking for a certain columns from a table, then using the columnar storage database is really a good choice to speed up your queries since you will be reading the data column by column instead of rows by rows. So for example, if you have like 200 or 300 columns in your table, then it does not make sense if at in the result table, if you need like four to five columns in the aggregated output and you are doing some complex join operation or the aggregation operation on top of that data, then it does not make sense to use the SQL databases like it's like a row by row. So it scans the whole rows of the data, but in the columnar databases, it will pick up only the columns you need, which really help us boost the query performance. And also at the last, they are like the superheroes of the vast amount of data. So whenever you need to implement the analytic workloads at huge scale, then to handle that columnar data storage solutions like the Cassandra are really a great way to implement. So you may ask how to work with the columnar databases. Does it really a very different thing? No. So ingesting the data into columnar databases are like similar approach of what we are doing in the SQL databases. The only thing is the way you structure that data will differ. So at the last, the defining the schema is very crucial in the columnar databases because the way your data is stored, structured is like will be a factor to the optimal performance. So you have to make sure that you are using the best practices while designing the schema of your columnar database. So let's talk about the use cases. So columnar databases are really a popular choice in the big data world because of its higher scalability as well as the avail availability with the query performance it brings onto the table. So that's why it has various use cases in the world of data analytics. And also it is like a popular choice to handle the time series data where you need to analyze the data over time. So with every technology, there are some considerations as well as the challenges. So in columnar databases, they might suffer in case of the frequent write operations on the database. So if you are maintaining like a real time system with a constant write operations on top of your columnar database, then you have to like make some sacrifices in case of the benefits it provides in the columnar databases, because the write operation might suffer when you're doing such frequent changes. And now let's do a quick comparison between the row based database and the columnar databases. So the first and foremost is like the data storage efficiency. So in terms of the storage efficiency, columnar databases have the upper hand if we compared it to the row based databases like the relational databases. So for example, columnar based databases will compress the date format, the date data type way more efficient than the row based databases, which at the end of the day will reduce the storage cost. And the next one is when it comes to the analytical queries, then also the columnar database will shine because it has like a higher read capabilities than the row based database. But in the transactional applications, like if you're talking about the asset transactions, still the row based databases are the way to go. 
so if you are handling lakhs of transaction and if you belong to any banking institution then in that case to access every transaction row based database will be the right choice for you because it's give you the quick access to all the data that you have ingested so it's not about which database is better than which it all boils down to what you need to achieve by, by using these databases what is your use case if you are looking for any log analytics platform where you need to store huge amount of logs coming from any platform any website then you are looking for columnar storage databases because it's give us the higher scalability and the availability which is like the priority of such kind of applications but if you are looking for any transactional changes like frequent changes to your databases or we can say frequent write into your databases then at that time row based databases are still the way to go so there you have it this is all you need to know about the columnar databases and how they differ as compared to the row based databases so we have seen like what are the columnar databases its use cases their advantages as well as some considerations and the challenges so if you are a data enthusiast data engineer scientist and it doesn't matter if you are interested and you belong to the data field then you should definitely know about columnar storage databases so i hope you find this video insightful so please subscribe to our channel and also ring the notification bell to get the latest updates Thanks for watching.